Hello, everyone. I'll introduce how to use Python to compute page rank by the power iteration method. Let me introduce the method first. Giving a web graph with n nodes where the nodes are pages and the edges are hyperlinks. Each link's vote is proportional to the importance of its source page, which means if page G has importance RG and has n outlinks, each link gets Rg over n votes. In this graph, Rg equals Ri over 3 plus Rk over 4. The idea of the model is that a vote from an important page is worth more. Then we'll define the stochastic adjacency matrix M to describe what happens to random servers after one step. This matrix M has n columns and n rows if there are n pages. The element m i g in row g and columns i equals 1 over d i. If page i has d i arcs out and one of them is to page g, otherwise m g i equals 0. Then we define the rank vector r. r i is important score of page i and the sum of elements in R is 1. Then the flow equation will be R equals M times R. So the power iteration method is as following. First, we initialize the rank vector R with each element, with each element to be 1 over N. And then we use the flow equation to update R until there is little change uh, with R or we get the iteration the number of iterations that required. There are some problems though. The first problem is that some pages are dead ends, so the page run has nowhere to go. Another problem is the spider traps. And that means all outer links are within the group. So the random work gets stuck in a trap. To solve this problem, we should use the teleports. At each time step, the random server has two options. With probability beta, follow a link at random. With probability 1 minus beta, jump to some random page. So the server will teleport out of the spider trap within a few time steps. So um, the, tra the tra transition equation will become r equals 1 minus beta over n times matrix i, matrix 1 plus beta times m times r. The matrix 1 is that uh, it's, a, it's an n by 1 matrix and each element, element in the matrix uh, in the matrix equals to 1. So the process is as the following. Then we will try uh, to, use the, to use some data uh, to implement this method. The data contains 100 nodes and there are 1024 edges. There may be multiple edges between a pair of nodes and the first column of the data refers to the source node, and the second column refers to the destination node, and we will choose beta to be 0.8. We will use Python to implement this. First, we need to import numpy as np, and then we define the function power. The import arguments include the file name, the beta, number of iterations, number of vertices, and the transition matrix M. So we first initialize R and then do the time of it, two iter times to update R using the transition equation. And then we define uh, the data info function to get the information about the file. 
We read the file lines one by one to get the list of vertices and the number of vertices. During the process, we use set to avoid duplicate vertices. Then we initialize M to be zero. Since there may be multiple edges from J to I, the elements Mig should be the number of edges from J to I divided by the out degree of G. And we need to notice that if the out degree of J is zero, then the Mig equals zero. And then we define the function to calculate the degree of nodes and the number of certain edges. In the degree function, we read the file and calculate the out degree of vertices. We plus one to the degree of vertices vertex or to a degree of vertex x i if there is an edge from i. And since the vertices are denoted from one, we need to minus one from the vertex number to get the correct position in the DAG array. In the code function, we read the file to calculate how many edges are from vertex k to vertex l. Then we will try this method. We use the graph data, set beta to be 0.8, and do 20 iterations and print the rank vector r. It may take a while. So this is the result of the page rank. Thank you for watching.